and maybe bring down the size, maybe and bring up the depth to four, say, and change this color over here. Even just go into your materials panel, copy this color, which you can do with Control C, and then just paste it onto here, which for now doesn't change anything. But uh, if you bring this down to something darker, and whoops, I accidentally put it back up. Just bring it down, and if you go back up here, you can see that there's now this um, slightly darker part. However, I don't want it that dark. I'll just bring it back up. You scrolling with my mouse wheel. Yeah, that looks better. And just to make it a bit more interesting, let's add in the nor value to the geometry. Now, yeah, that looks not bad, but it looks a bit much. So let's bring it down to 0.5. Yeah, that looks good. And let's just add in a new texture. Call it logo underscore marble because that's what we're going to be using marble and that seems fine yeah I'll just use the sign and maybe the soft should be fine bring down bring up the depth once again bring down the size and everything here seems fine we'll just copy paste the color again or actually just go into your first texture copy that color and copy it here or paste it there and we'll just make it all the way up and instead of just leaving like leaving it like that which is basically the same colors over here what you can do is take this value here the RGB value and just make it 1.5 which will make it just that much more intense so you can see that it's much more intense but we don't want it that to affect it, the color that much, so we'll just bring it down to 0.5, which seems pretty good, and activate the NOR once again, but this one will put it down to 0.33. So if you just check the differences here, uh, the color is a bit much. Let's try 1.25. That's just a bit less intense, and maybe the NOR put it down to 0.2. Uh, that looks like Mars. That looks like this one of the canyons on Mars. Interesting. So yeah, that should do it. And uh, we'll just do a render test later. Let's just set up these textures. We'll just paste the uh, use the same textures. So just click this icon to browse your available textures. Let's just select the logo clouds. Create an independent copy, and let's just call it logo. Uh, actually, let's just remove the logo and just call it blue underscore clouds because it's for the blue color and uh, copy paste that value here into here and turn on the nor once again 0.5 and that's all fine maybe put it a bit darker just like earlier and just bring in that other marble texture so logo marble independent copy uh, blue underscore marble and uh, settings should be the same yes they are and just paste that color again instead of 0.7 we'll just put it at 0.8 which will make it just that much more intense or just brighter and bring this down to 0.2 just like earlier bring this down to 0.5 and we have our blue so that looks pretty good. Let's go and change those orange, those uh, texture uh, names. Orange underscore clouds. Do the same thing here. Home. Delete this logo thing. Orange underscore cloud, uh, marble. So that's basically our uh, materials. So next up, let's just save. And don't forget to save often. Let me just check here. We are on... 10 minutes, not bad. So earlier at the beginning of the tutorial, I moved my cameras and lamp, or the camera and lamp because there weren't several cameras. I moved the camera and lamp over to layer two. So switch over to layer two. You can press two on your keyboard or just click this. And we have our camera here. Let's just press Alt G, which will clear the location, which pretty much sets it to zero, zero, zero. Press Alt R to clear its rotation and we'll do the same here with the lamp and just select your camera and just move it up.
say 10 units. And your lamp, what you're going to do is move it, just move it over here and add an empty. Now, shift A, add empty. Now this, we're going to actually name it lamp underscore target. So what we're going to do is select our lamp, move it up uh, 10 units. What did I do there? You said 10, no, not minus 1, 10. And then shift select your empty, press control T, track to constraint. Now what this does, if you change this over to spot instead of lamp, you can see that you have a spot pointing this way towards the empty. Yeah, there's this dotted line here. Uh, you can basically just move it anywhere and it'll follow, will always point to that empty. So let's just move it over here, right at the top, which will be our main light. We'll call it the key light, not key lime, key light. And we'll just leave the default settings like that. We also need a fill light. So let's just shift D to duplicate our lamp. Just move it somewhere. Like say five degrees out, five units that way and uh, 10 units that way. We'll just deal with the details later. Just move this down, say five units, change this over to Hemi. And what this does is it'll even out the, the lighting. But uh, you can just bring this down to point two because we do not want it too bright. And we'll just add another lamp, shift D, Z, and just bring it down behind our logo, which is actually here, and just bring this down to 0.5, which will be our backlight. So you can also deactivate the specularity on this Hemi, such as flat, and deactivate the specularity on this one too. And the lighting should be fine. I'm not sure, we're going to have to do some renders. And actually, maybe not change this over to Hemi, just leave it at spot, just so it doesn't create a too even lighting, or else we lose the textures. Let's just put it over here. Switch over to camera using zero on your number pad. And just control W. I'm going to do your render settings, which are next. And image editor should be fine. 800 by 600 should be fine as well. Angulizing, we'll just leave like that. Uh, ray tracing, we do not need. So we'll just turn that off. Might speed up the render. And the output TMP, we'll just change that over to our uh, tutorial folder and just accept so it saves it in the renders folder that I created. PNG should be fine, but we'll just move up the compression to 100% so we do not lose any quality. Uh, performance, I suggest using 10 by 10, which is good for me. Uh, turn off compositing and sequencer since we don't need them. And that should be fine. So let's save again and switch over to layer one. And we are still in camera view, but we can see that the logo is just slightly too big here. So shift two to activate your lighting layer and maybe just move your logo so that its center is roughly centered with the empty. So right about there, maybe 0.5 along the X and 0.4 along the Y or maybe 0.5 on the negative y, and that looks about fine. And however, the logo is just a bit too big. So this is where the scaling uh, comes in handy. So if you scale this down, we'll just scale it down to say 0.6, and maybe just recenter it slightly, like by 0.1 on both axes. And yeah, that looks fine. Let's save. Let's do our very first render test. So press F12 and it renders. And I am not liking that right from the get-go. I am not liking that at all. That is way too much texture deformation. And we could, it could use just a bit more bevel depth. So let's try 0 0.075. And also forgot to set this to smooth. And I actually can't, so just forget that. And let's just go over into our world panel here, the sphere. Just change this horizon down to black. We might, you might be able to want to uh, add a background, but for now I'm not going to deal with that. Just going to go and deal with these textures, which are just way too 
much, too strong. So let's say half of that, so 0.25, and our marble texture will bring that down to half as well. So 0.1, and yeah, that looks not too bad. Do the same with your blue, and bring that down to 0.1, since it's the marble, and the clouds will bring down to 0.25 as well. Save, and render again. Now, right from the get-go, that looks a lot better, but I'm still not liking that. It's probably the marble texture just interfering. Let's try half of that again, or maybe just really get it where you want it. I personally am not liking the very strong def deformations this is giving, and maybe just actually turn off the marble texture. No, okay, we need it. Oh, I put it to 0.5. How stupid. I want 0 0.05. Yeah, that looks better. And maybe just bring down the orange again. Do half of that, 0.125, which is actually 1 eighth, by the way. Bring this down to 0 0.05, and let's try that render again. Yeah, that looks better. However, I'm not liking the amount of specularity on here. Let's just bring this down and bring that down on the blue as well. Maybe just turn this back to Cooktor and then bring that back to Cooktor and try that. And that looks boring. Great. Okay, so let's try some lighting here. Let's try and activate ambient occlusion and yeah, let's try ray trace, see what that does. Save and not that good. Change it over to approximate and maybe a few passes. And whoa, that is too bright. Let's bring that down to one pass. That is still too bright. Bring down the factor. The mailman, the factor. Okay, I'm kind of liking that lighting. However, um, I turned down the textures too much. So let's just go bring that orange back. The blue seems fine, but the orange is really not, it doesn't have enough shape to it. So let's just bring these back up to say 0.15. Let's try three times their current value. So 0.375 and try that order again. Yeah, that looks better. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I also got an idea just a minute ago. Let's add in some reflections. So we want an environment map because we actually don't have anything to reflect here unless... No, okay, let's try it. Let's save and turn on the mirror here and toggle it down, and just bring it up to say 0.1, and bring up the depth as usual. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. However, we are going to need some images. So let me just go into my tutorial folder here, and add in new folder, called textures, and let's go into my desktop, and close that folder. Go back into Blender, save, and just add a new texture. We'll call this uh, Orange Mirror. And change this type over to Image. And for some reason, it's always further down than I would like it. So click Open and go to your Textures folder if you have one, or just grab the image wherever it is, select it. And by default, that looks pretty horrible. If you render, it just looks horrible. Huh, it's actually not that bad. That is interesting. Whoa. So that actually does not look all that bad, but uh, that's not what I want. So let's try this over to coordinates, to reflection, and yeah, that looks a bit better, but it's not, it's still not as uh, as good as I would like it. So let's bring that this color mapping to 0.5, change the blend over to screen, 